Pronominal suffixes on cal hollow verbs. This is a tiny module, just to make two quick points. The first is that you get propitonic reduction when you add a pronominal suffix to a imperfect. Well, what does that mean? Here we have yasim, so this is the imperfect, 3, three ms form, and if you add ha to it, the 2 ms uh, pronominal suffix, then the comet reduces to a shiva. So yasim plus ha becomes yasim ha. Okay? So effectively what's happened here is you've lost you've lost your comets. And if you're looking for the comets as the marker of the hollow verbs, then be aware that if you have a pronominal suffix you'll lose that you'll lose that sign. So that's all there really is to say there. And the second point here is something I just mentioned in the last module. I tend to repeat myself. Things come up in different places. Accent shift with infinitive construct. Kum, the infinitive construct, becomes kumi with the one cs. Okay, the accent shift goes to the end as opposed to kumi. Kumi is the feminine singular imperative. So it's an accent shift that tells you the two here. But this, uh, this is kind of important to remember. So if you have pronominal suffixes, you'll lose that 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 comments which tells you you have a hollow verb.